Hello you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ella. Welcome to the family. Um, I'm 26 and I live in Adelaide. This is a really good time to join my channel. I feel like there's been a lot of exciting changes the last couple of months. I'm really going through like a growth phase figuring out my life especially my career we're also about to move into our new house in the next few months hopefully um, which we've been building for the last year so lots of really exciting things but yeah I'm really just like trying to live my best life and bring you guys along for it. Um, I do a lot of vlogs and lifestyle content as well as budgeting and money related videos. I love talking about money it's something I'm so passionate about just creating more of a conversation around it. Money is such a taboo thing and I've said this before and I'll say it again like for what reason? As much as we all hate to admit it, it's really what makes the world go round. And the more of a conversation that we can have, the less taboo it becomes. And the more conversation, the more education, the more motivation, the more empowered people feel. Um, it's something I'm really, yeah, very passionate about, especially when it comes to young women, because I feel like that's just not something that is talked about enough. So yeah, I love talking about it. I love doing these videos. Selfishly, these budget videos are just like the perfect opportunity to really check in, put it out online, really hold myself accountable. Definitely not perfect. I'm definitely not any kind of financial expert. I'm literally just showing my financial journey and what that looks like. I think it's really important to remember as well, like everyone is on such a different journey, just like anything in life, like relationships, I can't think of another example, Korea, whatever it is, like we're all on such different journeys and money is another prime example of that. Everyone's journey is gonna look different and I feel so lucky in not only like, obviously the privilege that I was born into, but also having parents that weren't afraid to talk about money and really instill those money habits and that positive money mindset from like the get-go. I definitely think that's really served me well and it's definitely not something I take for granted. That's why I think talking about money can I say money one more time, honestly? But just talking about it openly as adults, like it's so important because not everyone gets that opportunity. Not everyone has grown up with those like positive figures in their life, um, especially when it comes to finances. And because no one talks about it, you become an adult and you have this money and you're like, what the frick do I do with it? So it's something I'm really passionate about, clearly. I've just talked about it for the last bloody minute. And I'm excited to get into it. I typically go over my budget in my monthly reset, but this month I decided to switch things up and do two separate videos. I just uploaded my March reset video a couple of days ago. Talk through all of my goals and my current favorites and books I read, books that I want to read. Really just like debrief with you guys. <laughs> it was a bit of a... Um, therapy session I, I think. I'm feeling so much better for it. All the comments on that video just like absolutely made my day. I feel like February for a lot of people was a bit of a tough month. I can't even say the word February so it's doomed to begin with. <laughs> but yeah just knowing that I'm not alone and it wasn't even a bad month for any particular reason. I just felt like I was constantly going through the motions and trying to catch up. Like I felt behind the whole month. Um, which is never a nice feeling and then naturally when you feel out of control you sometimes spend a little bit more and I just didn't feel even in control of my finances which is something I'm usually very on top of so kind of nervous to have a look at February and see how we went but as always we're going to keep it real I'm going to talk through how much money we made last month what we spent our money on how much we saved and then we're also going to reset and budget for March which is my favorite I always feel so refreshed and so motivated after doing this I'm like yes Let's do it. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about February, shall we? Uh, income wise, it was pretty much what I expected. Um, a little bit all over the place still, even with my part time job, like I really thought it would be one thing and then it's not. And I'm not entirely sure why. I think some of it is still residual income from when I was working full time during training that was paid out and then I also got paid a little bit of overtime which is nice to be paid overtime for like hours that I've actually worked. What's that like? Incredible. I'm still not 100% sure what my part-time paycheck will be. Um, if you're new here, I just started a part-time job as a travel agent which I'm loving and I'm also doing my YouTube content creation part-time as well which has been really fun social media wise i made a little bit more than i was expecting which is always nice like with anything self-employed freelance work it's very up and down and um yeah i feel like next month for example is either going to be a really really good month or like a not so good month i feel like there's no in between uh but this was like a solid month i would say given that january was so good so yeah happy with that um, surveys, I made $165. This also includes any sign-up links as well. I always have my sign-up links for online surveys that I use down below in the description box. 
Um, and yeah, pretty much as per normal, Nick's paycheck, we now know what that will be. He is on a secondment at the moment, so this might not be forever, but that's just what it is right now. Um, bills wise, everything was pretty much normal. Rent, gas, electricity. We had electricity bill, which was $112.38, which is a good indication that the money that we're setting aside is like a reasonable amount to cover that when the bills come in. Most of our bills are quarterly. Some of them are monthly, like electricity. I've switched over to monthly. We're also paying for two sets of bills at the moment because we're building a house. And so we unfortunately still have to pay for like electricity, council rates, um, water, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's definitely adding up. Not only are we paying two lots of bills, but also rent and a mortgage. And yeah, it's just the season of life we're in. I'm really trying to accept it for what it is and to be in a position to be able to cover the cost of both is um, definitely a privilege, but it's, uh, it's not great on the old bank account. It's I'm just ready for our house to be done so we can move in. But yeah, with most of our bills, we just put a lump sum into our bills account. And then whenever those quarterly or monthly bills come out, we just take from that. So yeah, it's good to see that the electricity is pretty much on par. Water was $63.10. I like to add them in the actual columns. So then I can see like the annual totals um, across the year and then see how much we're actually spending on those things, which is good. Um, Internet was $81.20. This is one of the bills that Nick always pays for and we both just realized recently that they charge an extra $2.20 because it's not set up with the direct debit, which is just ridiculous. We don't even pay by card, it's BPay. So you best believe we've set up that direct debit because I don't want to pay an extra $2.20 for literally nothing. I know it's only $2.20, but it adds up. Across a year, that's what, like $24? That's $24 I can spend on coffee. like. Yes, please. Um, phone, we spent $183.86 this month. I got a new phone last month and I think just with the timing of our bill cycle, it was like pro a little bit of extra that we had to pay for, which is fine. Home insurance, car insurance, all of that was normal private health cover, which we do need to look at and hopefully bring down in the next few months. And then gym, I budgeted $131. We only spent $65.56, which was for gym. Gym? Who's gym? <laughs> Nick's gym membership. Um, I don't know who gym is. I did in fact sign up for the gym this month, which is exciting, but I got the first month free, so I didn't have to pay for that, but it will be around that next month. Um, and then car, we spent $176.34 towards the car. I mean, if you've been subscribed for a while and you've been watching my budget videos, you probably already know what this is for. I'll give you three seconds to guess what that $176.34 is. Car rego. Yep. I, again, this is another bill that Nick always like pays for. So clearly it slips my mind if I'm not in control of the bills and actually physically paying them, then clearly they don't exist to me. This thankfully will be our last rego payment for a while because we're buying a new car in March, which is super exciting. And the first 12 months of rego is already paid for. Thank goodness. So no forgetting that for at least the next 12 months. And then uh, back to square one, probably. Um, subscriptions, I also forgot to add to my budget but nothing was out of the ordinary it's always around that um having a look at our general expenses groceries we were under budget we only spent 398 dollars which is awesome um eating out we were a bit over petrol 58 dollars over it's like one of those things that's kind of a uh, essential and um i think it was one of those months where we literally filled up on the first of february so it's fine. Um, clothing, we <laughs> budgeted $100 and we spent $496.87. So, yeah, that's how we're going. A bit of retail therapy. <laughs> Not to throw Nick under the bus. Like, I never want it to come across. Like, that was actually all of Nick and that was his reckless spending. Like, I, I don't want it to come across like that. But that was Nick spending money. <laughs> I don't know how to word this in a way that doesn't seem like I'm like holding resentment for him spending his money. Like God forbid the man buys himself a jumper. Um, so yeah, that was just like an unexpected cost. They had a couple of really good sales going and you guys know we don't usually spend a lot of money on clothes. Um, so we stocked up, which is good. Got a couple of staples. Home, a little bit over. Gifts, I only spent $40, which is good. Coffee, $184.95. Honestly, only $15 over. That's not too bad. I think that's definitely an improvement on last month. How much did I spend on coffee last month? $190.45. <laughs> so a whole 
six dollars six dollars of savings look at me go that's progress my friends that is progress <laughs> didn't spend any money on health takeaways for three hundred dollars and sixteen cents i feel like this really just like sums it up zero dollars spent on health three hundred dollars on eating out yeah look uh very indicative of like the kind of month that we had very much in our lazy girl treat yourself era clearly um and just like the idea of cooking dinner every single night just did not appeal to me so yeah ate out a little bit more we also got like frozen yogurt bubble tea a couple of times and i put that under takeaway which i don't know if i should or if that's like eating out i don't know but anyway yeah 300 dollars, which between the both of us is only 150 dollars for the month which is not too bad, but it's more than we usually spend. So whatever. Anyway, alcohol, we spent $41.99. MetroCard only spent $62.25. I'm going to have to double check that because I feel like it was a lot more. I've been tossing up between getting a 28 day pass or just continuing to do like regular top ups, but looks like I don't need to because the 28 day pass is $107. But I'm only spending $62.25, so never mind. Uh, Rideshare, we spent $12.10. Books, I spent $31.98. Makeup, $26. And then miscellaneous, $82. So in total, we were over budget by $444.10 for our variable expenses, which I'm actually okay with. Like, I know I shouldn't be. It's not ideal, but all things considered, I actually thought it'd be way worse. So... I'm okay with that. Um, and angel numbers, 444. Four, four. I don't know what that means, but thank you. 444, four, four. hopefully March is about a month. <laughs> um, and I mean, if we really look at it and take out even just like the excessive shopping, put it back to zero, we would be like right on budget. So, I mean, that wasn't the reality for us, but yeah, not that bad. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Savings wise, we saved $2,000 towards the new car, which is good. We are buying that this month. So like any extra money that we can put towards that is uh, always ideal. And then I ended up switching things around like halfway through the month with the budget and budgeted $1,000 towards travel, which we then consequently spent. We spent $999.12 on booking some stuff for our wedding anniversary, which is coming up in a couple months. I can't believe it, you guys. It's nearly been an entire year since we got married and had the absolute best day of our lives. I just can't believe it's already been a year. Time really flies. Um, and it's over a long weekend, so it's a little bit more expensive. Didn't really think that one through. It was great at the time. Not so great. Now we're trying to like do something for it. But yeah, just keeping it low key, having a nice little staycation. So we booked that this month. And then mortgage wise, everything was pretty much as expected. This one is a variable interest rate. So it does vary month to month, clearly. <laughs> So I usually like to budget more than what it will be, which was the case this month, which is good. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, here's like a little breakdown of where our money went. 22.5% went towards our rent, which it won't for much longer, thank goodness. 18.4% uh, went towards the new car, 12.6% on the mortgage, 9.2% on travel, clothing 4.6%, which is more than usual, 3.7% on groceries, 3.3% again on the mortgage, eating out 3.2%. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, here's also like a little pie chart of our spending. Well, this one you can see how much we budgeted. So what we budgeted versus what we actually spent on bills, expenses, savings, and debts. Obviously in an ideal world, these would be exactly <laughs> on point, but it's fine. That is life. 16% we put towards debt, 32.2% on bills, 0.3% uh, on subscriptions. I literally can't even see the segment. It's that small. Um, expenses, 23.9% and then 27.6% towards our savings. So I'm okay with that. That's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that split. And then if you come down here, we've got all of our different transactions. Honestly, nothing really out of the ordinary um, other than the excessive spending on clothing. We had $198 at Maya. Um, I think I spent $90 at Target. That was me. That was me. I'll take full responsibility for that one. Um, groceries, Metro card, books, gym, clothing again. <laughs> um books again coffee petrol hundred dollars and fifty cents on petrol oh that hurts um groceries groceries amazon prime yeah honestly like nothing really out of ordinary new car we put 750 dollars towards halfway through the month 
yeah everything was pretty much what you would expect there's no like standout purchase where we were like oh that wasn't good wouldn't recommend that one so that is how we went for february definitely a lot better than i thought let's get into march shall we <laughs> I love the start of a new month when it's just a fresh, clean spreadsheet. And I could and I probably should just copy and paste all the figures over from February or January. So I have some numbers to work over rather than just like manually inputting everything. But call me crazy. And I'm definitely just making things so much harder for myself. But I just, I, I don't know. I don't want to bring any of that bad juju in from the previous month. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I feel like so 2770 and 55 cents that's definitely a given for next paycheck it's also a three paycheck month which is stunning um this will be the first this one on the 15th and then this one on the 29th um mine is opposite the 8th the 22nd and then social media i always put like my payday as the 22nd Brands can pay me at any point throughout the month, um, depending on the contract or whenever they feel like paying. But YouTube AdSense always comes through on the 22nd. So it not, not that it really matters, but it's just good to keep track of. Uh, let's have a look. Last month, 13151455. I don't know. I'm going to say 1200 just to play it safe. It could be more. It might be less. I don't know. I really don't know what my paycheck is. Social media, again, could be more, could be less, but let's work this out youtube adsense it was a little bit slower this month we still have a few days left um but i also didn't really upload a ton this month so that's on me um we're gonna s i'm gonna say three thousand it could be more could also be less but we'll say three thousand surveys i'll just say hundred miscellaneous nothing don't need to add any supplemented income because we're good this month Monthly rollover, we currently have six, eight, five, and seventy-eight cents left to spend. We still do have a couple months left, a couple months, a couple days left of the month. So I'm gonna say maybe five hundred, perhaps. Uh, oh, wrong box, Ella. Come on. Cool. So our total income for March should be around $14,311.65 to be precise. That's with the extra paycheck. So stunning. Gorge. All right. Let's have a look at our bills. I'm just going to copy and paste those from February because they don't really change that much month to month. Um, rent is always two for 40 Gas 40, electricity 120, water 70, counts rates 94, $79 for internet, phone. I got the direct debit notice and I think it was like $135, which actually makes no sense because the phone that I got is more expensive than my old one. So I really have no idea. I'm going to have to look into that. I don't know if they've accidentally put me on a longer contract question mark. I really have no idea, but it, I think it was $135 for the month. We'll say 150 because I'm just going to have to get that sorted. I really have no idea what's going on there. Home insurance is the same. Car insurance will be about, I think it's like $76 from the quotes that I've gotten um, with our new car because we'll be insuring a new car, which is so exciting. But yeah, car insurance will be increasing, obviously, because it's a newer car. It's really only like $10 difference. And considering we're now insuring a car that is literally 10 times the value of the one that we currently have, uh... Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think we can live. Private health cover, I would really like to get down. It probably won't happen this month, but it's something I definitely want to look into because it's just like a lot to be spending when we're not really using it. I know that's like the point of insurance, but the current plan that we have, it's just, yeah, it's not really what we need right now. Uh, gym is fine. Car. No rego payment this month. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, but I guess we'll like have all the upfront cost of buying a car like do I include that I guess like I think it's 14 500 but then everything's gonna be skewed because technically that's just coming out of our savings you know what I'm just not gonna include it but we will be dipping into our savings to cover the cost of the car just so you know <laughs> um okay 
subscriptions. Let's have a look at January because I actually remember to put my, my subscriptions in January. We haven't canceled our Amazon Prime membership, so that's still $6.99. Um, cool. Yeah, looks fine. All right, groceries, I always like to keep around $4.40. We did a pretty good job of that last month. Eating out, how much did we spend on eating out last month? An absurd amount, I think. $3.42. We'll go $300 again. I think we can do it. Maybe even $2.50. On, no, we'll go $300. Petrol, $1.75. Clothing, literally $50. We don't need anything else. Home, I'm gonna say a hundred just for like general stuff around the house. Gifts, I don't think we have any birthdays in March. Oh, my dad, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dad. Okay, we'll say a hundred dollars for, or maybe 150. <laughs> like, I don't think we have any birthdays in March, literally my father. March to me, it just doesn't scream birthdays. I don't know. I think he's the only one. Do we have any friends that are born in March? I don't know, guys. Now I'm gonna offend someone. I just think it's my dad, okay. Um, coffee, we'll say 150. Health, 50. Takeaway, we're gonna go 150 this month. I wanna try and cut it in half from last month. Um, entertainment, I'm gonna put this at 200, just cause it's Adelaide Fringe this month and I think we would like to go see like a couple of shows before it's over. Social, go 100. Alcohol, 75. MetroCard, I'll go 75 again. Rideshare, 50. Books, I'll go 25. Makeup, 30. I don't think I need anything, but just in case. Miscellaneous, I'm gonna put it 100. How's that looking? 2220. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Cool. Um, mortgage is always one, three, seven, four, and 33 cents. And then our build loan will be increasing, which is fun. We just made another progress payment, which is exciting because it means progress is being made, but it also does mean that we have drawn down on our loan, which means we are now, excuse me, spending more on that mortgage. So again, I don't really know what it's gonna be. I've d tried to do a rough calculation, but because it, it's interest only and it's a variable interest rate and we're also, we've drawn down on it like halfway through the month, I really don't know what this is gonna be, but I'm gonna play it safe and overestimate and say $700. I don't think it will be 700, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And I think with that, if it's not $700, we'll just put that extra towards it so that we make extra payments towards the principal. Cool. So is that everything? Am I forgetting anything here? I don't think so. We've got all of our bills, variable expenses, debt, subscriptions. I think that's everything. So the total amount we have left over to save should be all going well, $6,565.71. So I'm gonna put $2,000 towards our emergency fund just cause I think we'll be taking some money out of our emergency fund to pay for the new car. Is it an emergency situation? I guess kind of, like we really need a new car. In an ideal world, we would have just continued saving until we were ready to buy one. But the timeline hasn't quite worked out with like where we're at with savings, but we're just gonna dip into our emergency fund, which we already hit our emergency fund goal in the first month of January. So we're just going to work on building it back up again. <laughs> um, and then everything else I think we'll just put towards the new car. So that'll just help with the deposit. Um, four, five, six, five, and 71 cents. I don't think there's anything else that we really need to save for. I feel like I'm honestly forgetting something here, but you know what? It is what it is. Cool. That is an every dollar budget. So satisfying. I am also going to go ahead and update our net worth tracker. This is something I'm really trying to get better about. I have my Wee Money app, which tracks everything automatically for me, which is stunning, but I also like to see it in spreadsheet form as well. 
Um, so I just do this at the end of the month and I can see like what our assets are, see what our liabilities are, especially with a new car loan and the mortgage increasing as we get closer to completion. It's just good to keep track of. So I'm gonna input those numbers now. I always have the link down below to the budget spreadsheet if you wanna check it out. I also have a discount code as well. I think it still works if you guys wanna use it. But one of my big financial goals this year is to increase our net worth by 50,000. So this was our total net worth. This is our net worth goal for this year. Um, and you can see how we're tracking. So total growth is $10,988.34. So not too bad for the first couple of months of the year. That's pretty good going. I think we're tracking quite well. I know that over the next few months, like March, April, May, probably even into June and July, this will just like barely change. If anything, it's just going to go down because we'll be moving and all the other different life changes. It's going to be an expensive few months. I feel like that's the story of my life. I say that literally every single month. It's all good things. All good things, my friends. All right. That is my March budget done and dusted. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also follow me over on my Instagram as well. I'm trying to get better about posting more financial content here and there doing like what I spend in a week reels and short form content I'm working on it guys okay <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you very very soon for another video bye